Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. This is Eric and with a new video VBA string.com and this video is called What is the difference between a list box and a combo box on especially on the user form? So I'm gonna show you here uh, real quickly we have a we have a supplier name supplier name field with all the suppliers here. And we want to activate a list form or user form. So typically, a, a combo box is shows one particular item in your uh, in your list. What this what this does is it loads it loads into these controls your everything that's on on the supplier name field. And you could be more creative with this, but this is just an example. If you're getting value out of these videos, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so the combo box shows one particular item from your list and allows you to select one particular item from the list. And a list box general typically allows you to select multiple items and shows you all your items so it gives you more enlightenment about what what's going on or what you have available to select and uh you, you could select multiple multiple items here okay and yeah i realize there are duplicates in there but that's beside the point so we can select multiple different items uh how do i get this let me go ahead and uh, here I'm going to switch to the to my VBA. Okay, if you didn't see my other video about how to activate the user form, um, okay, here I have sheet one, and the whole purpose of this is to activate this worksheet. Um, whenever this worksheet gets activated, and here I call this suppliers, and down here uh, the the name, the Excel name is Sheet Suppliers, but the caption property, uh, the worksheet you actually see is called Suppliers. And whenever I activate that sheet or click on it, I'm actually doing user form one dot show, which is going to show me the user form. All right. And here I have my two boxes here, my labels. Oh, key node, this is beside the point, but um, if you want to get these straight, okay, Brits, or, <clears throat> yeah, I want to align these at the top, and this is just a bonus tip, but if I go ahead and click this one, hold down my shift key and click this one, I'm getting, uh, from the top here, I can select user form, the toolbar, and I'm gonna get bring up the user form toolbar where I can align these. I can make them uh, the same height. I can make them, um, and for this point, I'm trying to align them at the top. So here I have the tops, and that just it helps you make the user form nicer. Okay, enough of that. Uh, okay, when the back to the video combo box and list box. Uh, whenever this form initializes, I want to go ahead and let me go ahead and the code finally and double click on it. Whenever the user form initializes, I'm going to load the boxes. I'm going to call this procedure to load the boxes. And when I load the boxes, um, I'm going to bring this immediate window down here so you can actually see more. Here I'm having a counter for the number of rows I have. Um, we can get this row dynamically here. It has entered it numbers, and I'm not doing any typing here because I type slow. And so, um, <laughs> you can cut and paste faster, copy and paste faster. And for the video, you probably don't want to see me type. Um, so add item sheets, supplier cell, cells. I'm using a range column setup here. And I'm getting a value, so I'm adding an item to the sheet or to the to those controls. Back here again, 
Okay, when I right click this, I'm getting it. I'm showing you all the items. So that's about it. The, the combo box, the list box, get the code uh, for this. And get another more explanation at vbastring.com or go down there in the description below. Leave your comments below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Um, have a great day and make sure that you look out for my next video.